The name Maureen Weber is synonymous with microfinance and entrepreneurial development in Jamaica and the Caribbean, spanning over three decades. Since 1984, she has undertaken significant roles in designing microfinance programs which have been integral in shaping the Caribbean microfinance landscape. Maureen Weber's work has been acclaimed in several influential publications on microfinance, and she's highly regarded as a global thought leader on microfinance and socioeconomic development. Let's meet Maureen Weber, distinguished nominee for the Microfinance Leader of the Year Award. We used to have in the industry in Jamaica about three or four NGOs that were in the business of making microfinance loans. As, um, assist, Cope, and EDT, right? That's where so we always saw, I've been, I've been around so long. That was the beginning, and then NDFJ to some extent. They were all, the thinking was social finance because the donors gave them money to lend to poor people. That was it or who may be in economic activity. But the first defining thing was poor people. Now, this is not what microfinance is. That's what I say, it's low wealth households that are economically active. So you're actually in an enterprise doing something. If you're something is buying 10 Nanaman Sweetie and selling them, you know, I age myself again. But 10 Nanaman Sweetie and you're selling it back to make a money, that's an enterprise, okay? But the point is that you're doing something economic. And microfinance is not credit only. It's about insurance, it's about other ways of accumulating wealth, it's about conversations with entrepreneurs. And I think that is real development part that we're missing. I assist on certain things. I assist, for example, first of all, on social performance management. In other words, your balance sheet is important. I want to know if you're making money to borrow the money from the bank, but I want to know, are you speaking with consumers? So there is no has a rating and a scoring in it. People say if it's too high, I say, let well, let's start reporting on it, you can get back to me about how high it is. But in other words, it's a part of where you get accredited and you keep your credit. It's no longer sending your financial statements, sending your arm, um, your, your portfolio risk, and you're in and you're good to go. I want to see social performance indicators in there. I want to know the consumers are being honored, if they are being protected, if they are being informed about their rights as well. That's an important, and that's what microfinance is about. It's a development tool. Access financial services, Marcus came through the door with nothing beside an idea. Nobody would have given them a loan. We had government that took on those money and we accredited them and started lending to them. But no one else would have. That's the thing. When a few of the other MFIs decided they were going to carry the program wide, so to speak, Marcus stood his ground, kept driving the issues of Trooper and staying the focus. Every time Marcus gets a reward, the Olympics celebrates. When he listed the stock exchange, he invited us to, the, to that. When he was nominated by the observer, he was, um, we were invited to be at the table with him. because. Really and truly, I, feel, I know that it's not just me personally. What we're able to do then gave birth to access, gave birth or gave strength to First Union. So that I, I celebrate. But it's not, it's, 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 it goes beyond one institution. About uh, two months ago, we were invited to COK Sodality's opening of their micro business unit. And I remember when I walked in, Jackie Maggie said to me, Your baby born. Again, when we're doing cap cap and one and then cap cap two, see, okay, it was difficult. They had to pull in them, dragging them into the thing. And Jackie, would, she told the story at the, at, the, at the opening, I really at the church gate and said, hello, you're behind, you've missed your targets. What's the deal here now? And when they over and they cut the ribbon, and I mean, it's a good space, it's a credit union, it's in crossroads, imagine the opportunities. For, so again, I feel that, so it's not a one-off thing, it's a sense of the, if we, if we stay true as Neo Limited, what we say is our gender, which is inclusion, then I believe that we can be a part of creating more opportunities for persons who are underserved.